Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hook Catfish. Out here on the river solo. Um, today, I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, see if it works. First of all, I'm gonna be using some balloons for uh, floating suspended baits. It's shallow water, but I'm gonna see if that gets a different reaction out of the flathead. This is the area I'm gonna fish behind me. From here all the way to that point, I'm gonna work this area. Got a strong feeling there's some flathead here, and uh, I know there's some flathead around here. So whether I can get them to eat or not, that is the uh, that is the question. So I'm gonna present baits a little bit differently today. Some on the bottom, like always, short leader. Um, I'm in five foot. Up there, it's three to two, and then main channel six. So that's what we're working with um, with depth and. Uh, bait I got bullhead and bluegill I think I got one creek chub also but the whole thing today is just uh, be patient and work one small area and see if uh, that produces flathead uh, a lot of times I like to move a lot and that doesn't always work out so this year I've been sitting a little more patiently a little more still working small areas and I've been doing pretty good so um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this glow stick I've already broke it it's about 730 dark it'll be dark in about an hour getting there anyway and that's when I think the bite's gonna start so we got a wind coming down river which helps also so the wind was coming out of the south this wouldn't work because um, there's no current in the river as of now it's very low so tell me down in the comments if you think that's gonna affect our spawn at all if it's gonna happen sooner than normal or what because I'm not sure Maybe somebody can tell me. Usually they spawn here um, up in Northern Illinois area about uh, first week of July. So I know other states is different, but that's what I've noticed. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find a rod that has a lot of line on it. It's gonna be this one right here. This also has a pretty good big hook. This is a 10 knot circle hook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this bobber three foot so there's about there's about three i don't want it too shallow i don't want it too deep so just in case it goes shallow i wanna and so there's a little loop and now i'm able to tie that tag in there i go use bobbers but i think this is uh this is fun a little bit bigger that the whole balloon's gonna glow and then this I'm gonna put a bullhead because they're super resilient another thing I've noticed is the water temps a lot warmer here than it is up river so I'm going our handy dandy bait I'm gonna find a bigger bluegill in the bunch Ooh, there he is I just had him here he is and take this bullhead Right there, there's a bullhead. Come right here. They're perfect. Now this bigger hook shouldn't hook itself, but uh, that's how I hook them, right there. Let them swim pretty naturally. Now we're gonna have to figure out, we're gonna put this balloon out first because we wanna know where it's gonna go. That's the reasoning for that. We're gonna let it float down river as far as he wants to go. And I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put him 100 yards. I don't I don't care. <laughs> as long as he's out of the way of my other lines, we're good. I might put two out there. That's gonna be hard to handle, but we should try that. And we're just gonna experiment today, so. He's gonna go down river. We'll probably put a balloon on this one too, so. Hopefully we get some fish today. Or this probably won't be a video. This comes out. It's because he caught him. Sometimes you gotta try different stuff, you know? Doesn't. And that's what I'm doing. Here we go, bluegill going out. He's gonna go along this bank see if they're feeding over there yet pretty 
pretty soon they will be for sure. Oh yeah, he's going down. Definitely be sitting here until the sun goes down. That's usually when the flathead like to come out. And we got some smaller bullheads too, so we'll throw one of them out. Okay, so we're set up now. And give it some time. I'll check back with you when we get a bite. Um, we'll see, man. Just trying to learn. I'm always trying different things. So sometimes flathead can be very, very tricky. And uh, you never know what they want. You know, different bait, different way of presenting it, presenting it. Did I say that right? Whatever. So let's see what happens, guys. I got one. I got a flathead. Yep, I got him. Get it? Yep. Got him. He's a good one, too. Oh, God. Another giant, bro. <laughs> yep, this is a big one. A uh, what? Bullhead. Main channel. Is good. Good one. Good one. Good one, guys. Oh, this is a really... Oh, he's pulling... Oh, my God. 30 plus. Yeah. Another giant, bro. All right, guys, we're hooked up. And this, it's not even dark yet. I don't got my net out. He's gonna, he's gonna be pulling drag here in a second, so. Oh, this is a giant, dude. Oh, he's on the bottom. Oh, he's a, he's a pig, dude. He's a 30. He's, oh, he ain't done. Oh, he ain't done. Oh, this one's fighting really hard, bro. Holy Jesus. All right, this is over 30. <laughs> my bad. He's pulling my boat around, dude. No way. Yeah, he's a giant, dude. He's a 30-something. There he is, in the net. He's a 30, 30 plus. Oh man, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did I get that dude? He was just, I looked over, he, he, he folded, he had my bullhead. Oh my God. Oh, he's a study dude. 30 something. Oh man, dude. Oh, you hear that? Hi guys. Uh, big bullhead. Oh God, he's so heavy. I can't pick. Hold on. Probably gonna go 30, uh, 30 something. Get a weight on him. Ooh. Every bit of 30 plus. Woo! That was a fun fight, guys. All right, guys, it worked. Sundown. Hope I got all that on film. But uh, look at this piggy. I don't know if this one's 30. I don't know. All right, so circle hook in the corner of the mouth. This is probably... Right in the corner. Oh, 
There's the fish, guys. There's the end result right there. Look at that thing. Probably about 30 pounds. He's nice and fat. Got a bullhead in him, didn't he? Um, yeah, caught on a bullhead on the bottom main channel out there in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Hi right, guys, so that fish, this fish right here, is caught in the main channel with a bullhead. The water's really low, so I feel like the fish are moving and uh, cruising through the main channel, you know? Not a whole lot of water in the bank where there's structure, so it has uh, been a very good spring bite. So let's let him go so he can get giant and uh, maybe I can catch him again. But there he goes. I don't know if we can get another one or not, so let's just maybe check him out. But dang, he fought hard. Stud, buddy. Is this a little flathead? Oh yeah. Number two, right on the bank. Just a little guy, but he's fired up. Wow. Come here, buddy. Little ones gotta eat too, don't they? <laughs> wow, he smoked it, guys. Hey, there's the second one. Look at that fish. He's all up in the structure. All right, he uh, he got hooked good. Hey right, guys, number two. Absolutely throttled a bluegill. This one ate a bluegill, so. Guess we can get a little picture of them. They're all worth it. Make them look huge. But yeah, this is number two. Same spot. I haven't moved yet. I haven't moved down. I haven't needed to. Good feeling. There's a few more good fish here, so we're going to wait. <laughs> Little buddy. That was right on the bank. Here he goes. He's going to go back in. Back in the drink. See you, buddy. Even the little ones fight hard, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta work in the morning, but I got a really nice fish and, uh, and then a, a little one. So uh, not, not a bad night at all for four hours. Um, the bait of choice was, uh, was bluegill for the bigger fish, so, and in the main channel, so. Uh, if that helps, I hope it does. Uh, again, comment down below if you've uh, experienced this low water and, and what the fish are doing. So I'm going to pack it up and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys on the next one.